Hello guys, um, my good friends, um, I'm happy to be with you guys this evening. My name is Joseph AGK RG. Tonight, I'm going to teach you how to calculate the uh, probability of winning a lottery. Now, um, in my previous lecture, I introduced you to permutation and combination. So we're going to use one of them to calculate the probability of winning a lottery so that you can see why actually most majority, 90%, 99% of people that buy the lottery tickets actually lose because um, the odd is so much against them. Anyway, let us proceed. Um, uh, tonight I'm going to show you uh, uh, the probability of winning uh, the mega million. Uh, for that, I brought the Mega Million ticket so that you can see uh, how it looks like. See, this is the kind of uh, lottery we play. It's very popular in America. Uh, they play it every Tuesday and Thursday. Okay, so we're gonna calculate the probability of winning the jackpot. Now, the jackpot usually is a large number. Sometimes uh, 200 million, sometimes um, 100 million dollars. You know that kind of thing so it's a large amount of money uh, so anyway uh, now to calculate this probability we use um, what we call the combination the combination rule I explained it when I we were doing a uh, counting rules now if you look at this ticket you will see that we have uh, to, to win the, the mega million you have to select five uh, white ball from here. There are 70 of them. You can see that 17 white balls uh, or white numbers. You select five of them correctly. Then you now select on the second chamber one number from here correctly. We call this number the, the gold balls. So it's only one number that you select from here. We call it the gold ball or the jackpot number. So making it a total of six balls or six numbers to win the jackpot so five numbers from here uh, one number from here correctly that gives you the jackpot okay so now that's why um you look at here this one is 2070 for the white ball we have 70 numbers for the uh, yellow balls or uh, yellow number we have 25 numbers here so 70 25 Select six, uh, five correctly from here. Select one correctly from here, and you got the jackpot. Good luck. <laughs> anyway, so now again we're gonna use the uh, the probability rule called that. The, we're gonna use the combination rule because if you remember, combination um, does not uh, require a specific order to we uh, to get it. Unlike permutation. So um, now, let us proceed. First of all, let us get our sample space, or the odd, I mean the total um, number of combinations that we need. So for the white balls, remember, I told you that there are 70 of them. That's white number. When I say white balls, I mean white numbers, because when they release the results, they write the number on a small uh, white ball, OK? There are 70 of them, out of which you're going to select five numbers. So you have 70 and 5. N is 70, X is 5. So the, all the possibilities, all the possible outcomes will be, we use the combination rule, which is um, NCX. This is the formula right here, and then we put it in this form, where N is 70. So anywhere you see N here, you put 70. And anywhere you see X here, you put five so that's why you have five here for x here and five here for this x and for this n we have 70 and for this n right here we have 70. so when we put this on a calculator you see my calculator right here so i'm going to um open it and do the combination for 70 see 70 right here 70 i remember i told you that this is the key for combination right there PRB. It, it is different from every calculator. Every calculator have their own key, but for my own, this is the key right here. So press it. 
So you choose the NCR, which is the combination uh, formula right there. You choose it and press the enter key. Okay. Then press five. Got five right here. So it's five. Press five and press equal. Give me 12 million one oh three thousand and the 14. So that's what I got here. So that means that there are 12 million one hundred three thousand and fourteen ways of choosing the five white numbers correctly. See, actually, actually, of choosing the five numbers, not correctly, just the five numbers. Okay, you have uh, out of this, you have only one chance. You are selecting from twelve million one hundred three thousand zero one for possible ways, and you need have to select one of them correctly. That's a lot. Okay. Now let's do the same thing for the yellow ball. That means yellow number. Okay. There are 25 of them, right? You can see right here. 25 right there. So we have it right there. Um, this one you have to select only one number correctly. So you have X as one and N is 25. You plug it in here. Anywhere you see N here, put 25. So you have N and N. So you have 25, 25. Anywhere you see X, put one. That means you have X here. And X, so you put one and one. Now, let us put it on the calculator. We have um, 25. Go, go to your combination formula. This is the key again. And choose this one right here. Okay. Press the enter key to choose it. And press one. Okay, this is right, right here. And that gives you 25 right there. So, you have 25 ways of choosing one good number or one good ball correctly. Now we have got the sample space. Now let us calculate the probability of winning the jackpot. Remember, to win the jackpot, you have to choose five numbers correctly from here and one number correct, making it a total of six correct numbers. So we have it here. Um, we have the probability of, of the correct number. You have only one chance of choosing one number, or of choosing five numbers correctly. See, out of 12,103,014 possibilities. So you have only one, one chance out of this 12,103,014. See, that's why you have one out of 12,103,014. How do we get this? Remember, we get it from the previous slide from here, here, for the white numbers, okay? Now, for the gold numbers, remember we have, you have only, you're gonna choose one number correctly from here out of 25 numbers. That means one over 25. Okay. How do we get this? Uh, we get it from here, 25. Okay. Now, so the probability of winning means that probability of this one times the probability of this one. So we have it right here. Probability of white balls, correct, times probability of um, yellow balls correct for white balls correct we have one out of 12 million one or three thousand and fourteen times for the yellow ball is one by 25 so uh this uh we can put on the calculator this way i got one divided by uh i got 12 uh, million oh i have to I have to multiply the two so i'm gonna put use the parentheses so i put parentheses here one Okay, divided by this 12 million uh, 103 uh, 014. I close the parentheses, then I press the times. I put this one here uh, in parentheses again 1 divided by 25. Okay, so when I press the enter key here, give me. Point zero zero zero. How many zeros? Two, almost seven zeros. Before I got three. See right here. So you have point zero 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 three. Not even up to point one percent chance of winning the jackpot. So you can see why, if you win it, you are just extremely lucky. You cannot predict it. The odds are against you so much. So if you win it, that means you have a special blessing from God, you know. 
See, I, let, me, let me put it this way. One of my friends, he said that um, sometimes God remembers his, some people that he forgot in a long time by making them to win a lottery, you know, <laughs> that kind of stuff. So if you win it, to me, it's an act of God, you know. Now, sometimes it is not only the jackpot that we win. Sometimes when we want to win the second prize, here, if you win the second, second prize here, will be only five white balls, see? And that will get you one million dollars. So how do we win it? Well, I mean, what is the probability to win it? Of winning it? To win that second prize, you need to select only five white balls correctly from here. And that you get one million. Remember, we have 70 balls here. Now, which means that to win this second prize, five white balls correctly, no white balls, I mean, sorry, no yellow balls in, uh, correctly. So that means here, of course, we already know that the probability of white ball is one out of 12,103,000 by doing 70 combination 5 in our previous slides. Now, for the yellow balls, to win, uh, uh, to get it correctly, we have one out of 25 possibility. But not to get it correctly, since there are already 25, uh, um, um, 25 balls here, one will be the correct one. How many will be the incorrect one? 24. So the probability of not getting it correct will be 24 out of 25. Okay? Which means that the probability of winning the second prize is the probability of the getting the white balls correct times the probability of yellow balls not correct. So you multiply the two. For white balls correct is 1 out of 12 million, 103014 times Yellow balls not correct is 24 over 25, which again we can get to here. Uh, I put my parentheses, okay. I got 1 over 12 million, okay. Got 1 divided by 12 million, um, 103, uh, 014, closes, times, um, in parentheses, 24 over 25, 24, you can see right there, divided by 25, then I'm going to press the enter key equal sign, see, 0. 0.00079, oh my god, so you see, not even up to 0.001% of predicting it. Now, so you can see why a lot of people actually lose millions buy the ticket every every week but you know almost all of them lost lose it now so you, you begin to wonder why would the, why do somebody want to why do some people get addicted to this to you know buying this because of the price the price is so much i mean if you win the prize is i mean it's so big huge not to, but the main thing why people get addicted is because they believe in their mind that they can predict the lottery so you see them uh, when they when they go to sleep they dream that somebody gave them the correct number that we used to win or they uh, believe that they play the bed date of their son or daughter you know that kind of thing or that they prayed that they will win it you know, that, so the moment you condition your mind to believe that you can predict it that's when you get addicted but if you know from what i have shown you that you can never predict the lottery. Then you, you can never get addicted. My good friends, um, this will end our lecture for today. Uh, in my le next lecture, um, I will start with what we call probability distributions. Uh, you know, statistics is all about making sense of data. And since we cannot, we are not hundred uh, percent sure of what will be the outcome. We use a lot of probabilities. Thank you for listening. And um, do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out in my lectures. Take care of yourself and each other. Bye-bye. Thanks.